guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing my February 2018 book haul talking about the books that I bought or received and received in the month of February. There is a lot to go through here, which a lot of these, I mean, I could make excuses. Some of them are new releases. Some of them I got really cheap. Some of them I was sent. So yeah, let's jump right into it. There's a lot. First book I have here is Tarot for Everyday Life. This is How to Deal. Um, this is written by Sammy Main and illustrated by Marissa De La Pena. And this is just a young adult guide to tarot cards. I was sent this by HCCC Frenzy. HC see frenzy which is the team over at harper collins um the team department over at harper collins so thank you so much to them for sending this to me and this book comes out on march 18th they sent me an art copy and i'm super excited to read this one because i was getting into tarot and i talk about this book more in my wrap-up that i uploaded not long ago next up here i have frankenstein by mary shelley i'm recent i'm i finished this one um my tabbed copy is in my school bag but i bought another copy because it was like three dollars and I went to Book Outlet and I got stuff from Book Outlet and it was just, I needed another copy because I loved it so much. I think you guys know what Frank, the story of Frank is like, the story is about, it's a classic, read it, it's good. I really liked it. From the January horror themed box, uh, the Page Habit box, I got Grist Mill Road by Christopher J. Yates. This is one of those, um, what happened in the woods, what really happened in the woods? this long ago story. It's a horror novel. I'm really excited to read it. It's a new release and because it was sent in the page habit box it does have all the annotations in it and I was sent that page habit box by the company but yes I'm super excited about this one and I have like a battle of the subscription box videos if you want to see like my comparison of like all the boxes and stuff that I unboxed this month. One that I actually I think bought full price was Four Weeks Five People and this is by Jennifer Yu and I've just been seeing this one floating around. Emma from Emma Books read it and really enjoyed it and it sounds amazing and it's about like a camp I think and one of the characters has obsessive compulsive disorder. There is a dude struggling with an eating disorder. Someone who escapes into film or just an overly confident thinks everyone is an idiot. Mason, Stella just doesn't want to be back for her second summer of wilderness therapy. And it's just about these five teens and their trip. And I love books like this. This sounds like it's going to be like um, everything beautiful is yet not yet ruined. This one. It sounds like that and I really enjoyed that book so I'm very excited to read this. It's been getting some great reviews and I've also haven't I haven't seen much rep for male eating disorders before so I'm interested to read this one and see how they do with that. Next up here from the uppercase February box I have The Queen's Rising. This is by Re Rebecca Ross. This is like a new fantasy release. Why is my cat in the corner of my room? The only thing I really know about this one is that it's fantasy. I wouldn't have picked it up on my own, but it came in the box, so I'm like, okay, I'll take it, I guess. Uh, he chooses betrayal. She chooses vengeance. Okay. It has a pretty cover. I don't know <laughs> how I feel about that. From Andrew's Make Me a Publishing, they sent me an early copy of The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one by Amanda Lovelace. Thank you so much to them for sending this over to me. I love this so much. I talk about it in my wrap-up, but this is Amanda Lovelace's new collection. If you have you've probably heard of her last one the princess saves herself in this one and this is her new release and i am just so excited about this and it's out now and i think people like i'm just so excited for everybody to read it it's very feminist talks about the fire within people and it's just like what the title says and i just love this so much so i'm super excited for everyone else to read it and it does have like a trigger warning page on the inside which i really appreciate that has all the trigger warnings in it so i think that's really good and you know next up here i have another one that i was sent by the andrews mcmeal publishing and this was planting gardens and graves volume one this is by rh sin this is his new collection that just came out and this deals with what his collections are usually about but um i loved it so much. What is my cat doing? He's like climbing on top of my pillows. Stop. No, 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 no. No. Is his collection and his collections always deal with like love, heartbreak, um, and things like that. And I do talk about this one a ton in my wrap up and some other reading vlogs. So I don't want to spend too much time talking about it because we have so many books to get through. From the Nocturnals, the Nocturnal Readers Box for February it came with A Cast Cold Eye by Alan Ryan and this all I know is I think it's 
an atmosphere haunting ghost story is a slow burn horror novel that will keep readers in suspense and it's by it in suspense until its chilling conclusion. And the author of The Exorcist blurred this. Dang. So yeah, this should be fun. I really need to catch up on all my like horror books. And then it also came with S by Koji Suzuki, translated by Greg Ginicarello. I tried. So this sounds so weird. <laughs> CGI, creepy imagery, a tale renowned for its ongoing mutations. And just look at, wow, look at that. I don't know. I. It sounds weird. And like, even after I read the synopsis, I'm like, wait, what the fuck is the book about? I'm like, it seems strange. The cover's strange and cool, so I'm there. Up here I have The Crucible by Arthur Miller. This I just bought for school because it's going to be one of the works that we're studying in my English class this year. So I don't know much about it, except I think witches. I don't want to know much about it. Witches? Maybe? I don't know. But this copy is oh, beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. Oh my god. Next up here I have Dear Aunt Catherine and this is by Laurie Ann Pokin and this is a historical fiction book. I was sent it by the author in exchange for an honest review which I do talk about in my wrap up but this book is set, takes place in 1852 and it's about an Irish orphan who goes to see her uncle who ends up being like the master of this palace and it's kind of about freedom and independence and family and shit like that. It was kind of a mess but I appreciate the author sending this to me. I really do. Um, but I had a lot of issues with the book on its own. So yeah. Next up here, I have my friend Dahmer and this is by Def Bacter. Totally a real name, possibly, probably not. Um, but this is a graphic novel about all about Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm so excited to read this one. And my friend and I bought it, so we're probably gonna do a buddy read of it. And I've been meaning to read this one. I'm going to soon. I'm excited about it. If you don't know, Jeffrey Dahmer is the serial killer. And this is about his life in graphic novel format. And it sounds really cool and it looks really cool. So I'm excited to read this one. Next like pile of ones that I got from Book Outlet, I don't know much about. So don't at me. Um, Any Pretty Things and Shiny Broken Pieces. And this is by Sonia Kira Porter and Danielle Clayton. And I think this is just about ballerinas and shit ballerina drama I don't know some dance drama thing supposed to be really fun like a guilty I'm trying to do air quotes guilty pleasure read I don't know they sound fun and they were both cheap and <laughs> look at them go <gasps> so yeah I got those ended up picking up a one true love by Taylor Jenkins Reid I also got this from book outlet I've been hearing Chelsea my friend Kayla did Natasha talk about it too I don't know, everyone's talking about this. It's supposed to be really good. Apparently Taylor Jenkins Reid is the new shit, so gotta check that one out. I also have Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. The Perfect Marriage or The Perfect Lie? Oh, thriller, I don't know, it used to be popular and I just saw it there and I was like, you know what? Sure. Little Piles, also from Book Outlet. This is why I actually ordered specifically off the site for these books because I'm so excited about them. But then I went to the warehouse too, like the store slash warehouse thing. And um, it's in Ontario, cool. Um, then I ended up with the rest of them that I showed you, but I ended up getting Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow. All I know is this does have some trigger warnings for self-harm. I've heard really good things about it. I wanted to pick it up since it was released and I've heard pretty decent things about it. So I'm really interested to read this one. Also decided to grab Letters to the Lost by Bridget Camerer? Camerer? I don't know what this is about. I think Dylan loves it and it has good ratings. Can you fall in love with someone you've never met? Julia is drowning in grief after her mother's death and Declan is trying to escape the demons of his past. I don't know. Seems fun. I think Dylan loved it. <laughs> watch it. Watch it. He like hated it or something and I'm like shit. Okay, this one I know he loves. So does Jay. From the awkward bookworm and i've wanted to read this one because of them the art of starving by sam j miller this is about a boy struggling with an eating disorder and i've heard is amazing 
and this is like the real reason why I ordered that because thank you to the people that follow me on Twitter because I took a picture of this book at the bookstore and I'm like I want to buy it so bad like full price at, at Indigo and I'm like but I don't want to spend the $22 Canadian on it and then someone's like they have it on book outlet <laughs> thank you so I got that and then I also decided to put first we were four by and Alexander Sorowi what a bomb cover am I right so I know books and Lala has talked about this and really liked it so no idea what it's about but it's fine so here are some books that I was sent by thriftbooks.com so they did send me this books these books to show you guys and to talk about their site a little bit but I'm sure you've heard of thrift books they sell used and sometimes new books um, from different languages different editions and it's a really cool site. I've definitely spent hours on it just looking through editions of my favorite books. They are really affordable and cheap. It's like some of these books are like three dollars and I think if you spend a certain amount US I think it's like 20 or 35 something really like not hard to do. <laughs> it's just not hard to do. Um, if you spend a certain amount then you can get free shipping in the US which is why I think it's great as well. Free shipping it can add up but the books are like so so inexpensive that it's like shipping it's just it usually doesn't it's the shipping usually isn't too bad but like yeah it, it's better if you live in the states probably which my ma majority of my audience is from the u.s so you're good the actual book itself um and the way it comes it's gonna be like very good like new um those are like the two top ones and then it's like not great condition or whatever I'd highly recommend getting very good or like new condition because these books were in that category and they still were a little busted up that could be the mail but it could not be so I do want to point that out as well but I totally appreciate thrift books for sending these my way especially because I've wanted to order from them before so the first book that they sent my way was Girl Interrupted by Susanna K Hayson you know this one's a mental health book and after a session of the doctor she's never been 18 year old was put in a taxi to McLean Hospital so I believe it's just a girl in a psychiatric facility and I also got another copy of Mr. Mercedes Stephen King had to grab this one you guys know it's one of my favorites this is my fifth copy and yeah this is just a little mass market version I really like it and the only thing I think it was in very good condition and just like the little corners are a little bit curled but that's about it um so that's not a problem i really like i'm really happy with this it came super quick as well add to my stack of my favorite book like to the stack of collections and editions of my favorite book i ended up getting this copy of the virgin suicides by jeffrey genities this was i believe like new or very good condition as well and as you can see it's kind of colored discolored a little bit um there's just a few like i just have to mention it because it's it is like a thrift book site so you are getting used books so just keep that in mind but it's just a little bit on the top so i definitely recommend getting like new condition or very good unless you don't mind your books beat up but you do you um but yes i got this copy and i wanted this copy for so long look how pretty it is i love it so much so now it can go with my stack of my other copies of the verge of suicides and i'm a happy little person i'm not really little but okay <laughs> Thank you so much thrift books for sending this to me really appreciate it and i am probably going to get more copies of the virgin suicides from their site as well because huh you gotta gotta stock up apparently so there you guys have it that was my book haul for february let me know the books that you got in the comment section down below and i'll have obviously like all the um so yes i know i was sent a lot of things this month and i do hope to like i do want to remind you guys that it's obviously all my honest opinion and i hope you guys know that the business side of this whole thing has been really um new for me um just the at the point that it's at right now it's a lot more than it used to be so i just wanted to thank you guys again for everything and i will see you all super soon with a new video and if you're not subscribed click the button down below and click the little bell to be uh, notified for when I upload. And if you want to follow me, I have Instagram, Tumblr, Pinterest, Goodreads, Twitter. I like Twitter and Instagram. Check me out on those. And I will see you guys super soon with a new video. Bye.